we're going to install a fast forward supercharger kit into this NA8. G'day folks. So we're going to install a fast forward supercharger kit into this NA8. The car currently has a full NB8B swap. That includes the VVT motor, a 6 b gearbox, and it's running a 4.4 Torsen diff. It runs on a set of coilovers and has the NB ABS brakes. Uh, the full interior has also been swapped in and I've added some bride bucket seats. Let's get started with the supercharger install.
two hours later. And after about three days work, the install is now done. Let me show you the end result. So a bit of a summary of what we've done here. The factory intake system has been removed, including the throttle body and the intake manifold. As you can see, we've redone the wiring at the front of the motor here and wrapped in cloth loom tape. The plugs have been neatened up and the loom across the top of the injectors has been re-wrapped. The wire for the idle control runs across the back here and the injector wiring has been reworked to fit. On the fuel side of things, it's been up to RX-8 injectors on the stock fuel rail. We've added a pair of additional intake charge injectors I'm a little skeptical on the fuel connectors for these injectors, so I'm going to keep my eye on them. And I've actually safety wired the clips on to help avoid the chance of them popping off. It's running the factory fuel pressure regulator with the returnless NB system. You can see the routing for the throttle cable, which, for anyone familiar with the FFS kit will know, I've installed the kit somewhat backwards to what the FFS guys would have intended. Being a right hand drive car, I had clearance issues between the throttle and this bracket on the brake master cylinder, so that needed a little massaging. The vacuum booster line runs to a T under here, and the 3 inch intake tubing runs down under the manifold to the pod filter you can see here. Around the other side, we have the IAC on the exhaust side of the motor, with a hose running from here into the IAC around to the intake manifold. And I've mounted the IAC on this little alloy bracket. The car runs a 65mm pulley on the charger and a 105mm pulley on the crank. This results in peak boost of 10 psi. And that's it for the moment. Let's take it for a test drive. Well that's it, thanks very much for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments.